Hey, welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Saha. In this video, you will learn about the relation between the coefficient of linear, superficial, and cubical expansion, which are represented by alpha, beta, and gamma respectively. First, we'll derive the relation between alpha and beta. Then, we will derive the relation between alpha and gamma. So, finally, we'll get the relation between alpha, beta, and gamma. Now let's move to the content. Now let's derive the relation between alpha and beta. For this, let us consider a square metal sheet of initial length L1 and area A1. When this square metal sheet is heated for some time, it expands. After expansion, let the final length be L2 and area A2. And during this process, the rise in temperature is delta theta. From the linear expansion, the final length of the metal sheet can be written as L2 is equal to L1 times 1 plus alpha delta theta. Now, squaring both sides, we get the following expression. L1 square is the initial area of the square metal sheet, which can be written as A1, and L2 square is the final area of the square metal sheet, which can be written as A2. Now, using the formula of A plus B whole square, we get the following expression. Since alpha is very small and less than 1, the square of alpha is further smaller, so we can neglect the terms containing alpha square. After that, we get the following expression. Again, from the superficial expansion, the final area of the metal sheet can be written as A2 is equal to A1 times 1 plus beta delta theta. Now we know that equation 1 and equation 2 both are true. So when we compare equation 1 and 2, we get beta is equal to twice of alpha. This can finally be written as alpha is equal to half of beta. And this is the relation between alpha and beta. Now let's derive the relation between alpha and gamma. For this, let us consider a metal cube of initial length L1 and volume V1. When this metal cube is heated for some time, it expands. And after expansion, let the final length be L2 and volume V2. And during this process, the rise in temperature is delta theta. From the linear expansion, the final length of the cube can be written as L2 is equal to L1 times 1 plus alpha delta theta. Now cubing both sides, we get the following expression. Using the formula of A plus B whole cube, we get the following expression. Now, the quantity L1 cube is the initial volume of the metal cube, which can be written as V1. And the quantity L2 cube is the final volume of the metal cube after expansion, which can be written as V2. Since alpha is very small and less than 1, alpha square and alpha cube are further smaller. So we can neglect the terms containing alpha square and alpha cube. After neglecting them, we get the following expression. Now from the cubical expansion, 
the volume of the metal cube can also be written as V2 is equal to V1 times 1 plus gamma delta theta. We know that equation 1 and 2 both are true and when we compare them, we get gamma is equal to 3 times alpha. Finally, we get alpha is equal to gamma by 3 and this is the relation between alpha and gamma. When we combine equation A and equation B, we finally get the relation between alpha, beta and gamma as following. Thanks for watching. If you are finding the videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.